All right. So now I'll go to level two. So level two, don't worry. You have, if you have a pen and paper, you can actually jot this down. If you have a phone, you can actually take a picture of this or perhaps you can actually print screen. Okay, this is the notes over here. So the first step is place your cursor on the data. So what you do is you place your cursor on the data. All right. Second step is control A. So control A means it will highlight the entire data. All right. So before I proceed, maybe you can type number two in the checkbox because I'm afraid that you can't see my screen. Can you see the screen? If you can see, maybe you can just type number two. Okay, that's good. Okay, because I'm afraid sometimes, you know, when you do things online, you can't see the screen clearly. So that's why. All right. So you can actually press Control A. So the moment I press Control A, you will notice the entire data is highlighted. Okay, that's the difference. Because when you put your cursor over here, you put your cursor over here and you press Control A, it highlights everything. But when you put your cursor over here and you press Control A, it highlights the selected table or selected data. All right. So like what I say, first step is place your cursor on the data. So this is the data we put here. Second step is control A. So you control A means you are highlighting everything. Okay. First step is go to insert. So you go to insert. Fourth step is click pivot table. So under the insert ribbon, can you see pivot table? Maybe my friends, maybe you can just type number three if you can see the pivot table icon or pivot table feature. All right. So you just click pivot table and then you will notice that a box will appear. So this is the box. So my friends, can you see the box? Maybe you can type number four in the check box if you can see this pivot table box. All right. So basically, it's up to you. You want to click in the new worksheet or the existing worksheet. So what if just say I click the new worksheet? I will be navigated to a different tab. So I'll just click this. Okay. All right. So once you click OK, you will notice that you will go to a new tab or new sheet. All right. Okay. So this one, if you notice over here, when we go to level two, our data, the column title is football club. Okay. We have uh, football club. We have revenue items. We have forecasted revenue. We have actual revenue. So in your pivot table field, you will notice that you have football club, revenue items, forecasted revenue, actual revenue. Okay. So basically, pivot table summarize your data. Originally, your data is a full table, but now they will try to summarize it. So for example, if I put my football club over here and I put my maybe actual revenue, forecasted revenue, and then I put my revenue, uh, revenue items in the filter. Okay. Like what I told you, of course, this data, sometimes it's difficult to read. Okay. You're not sure whether it's uh, 41,000 or 417,000. So what I do is I highlight this and I right click. When I press right click, can you see the menu command? And can you see this line called format cells? If you can see format cells, maybe you can type number five in the checkbox. Okay. So this is the format cells. You click the format cells and then a box will appear. So what you do is you change to accounting format. Okay. So it's up to you whether you want to put uh, Ringgit Malaysia or you want to put Indian rupees, but I'll put no currency and I'll just remove decimal places. Okay. And I press, okay. So now it's presentable. That means you can understand this is 417,000, 117,000. You can actually interpret this data instantly. And then what I do is I go to pivot chart. I click this pivot chart and I press, okay. So now you have this pivot chart over here. This is the table. So I'm going to click this, right click. So when I right click, can you see the line hide all fill buttons on chart? Maybe you can type number six if you can see this line. Okay, don't worry. Maybe I'll share these files later in the email. So maybe later you can try. Okay, so what you can do is you can just press this so that all the buttons are removed. And what I do is I just click this and I delete. So I delete, now you have this uh, actual revenue and forecasted revenue. But of course, we don't have the numbers, right? So what we do is we click on the chart element. All right, can you see data table? If you can see data table, maybe you can type number seven in the checkbox. Okay, so you just click data table and now your manager or maybe your stakeholders, they can understand what is the actual revenue, what is the forecasted revenue. Maybe you can just make it bigger so now it's more presentable, right? 
and then I just press the chart element. I just don't want this grid line to appear and I add chart title. So now you have this performance. So now it's presentable to your manager. Okay, so of course what I can do is I just press here equal and I put here, oh yeah. So next step is I go to keyword chart analyze and I click insert slicer. So once I click insert slicer, as usual, the filter is revenue items. So I click the revenue items and there you go. Okay, so now you have these revenue items. So this one actually, this slicer, you can actually make it more beautiful by just clicking the formats. So if you just say you love green color, you can actually choose green color. If you prefer blue color, you can actually choose blue color. It's up to you, okay? And what I'm going to do is, if just say I want to click player transfer, you can see the performance of player transfer. Meaning to say, with just one click, you can interpret the data instantly. Meaning, if just say I were to click tournament price, you can actually understand that these four companies or four football clubs, they have revenues from the tournament price. So if just say I were to click player transfer, so this is how we do, okay? All right, so don't worry. This is just level two, okay? A very simple dashboard, okay? So before I proceed, have you learned something new? If you have learned something new, maybe you can type yes 